Originally, I had plans to do this challenge in the future, but after hearing the news, I decided to make it my top priority. So, can I beat Dragon Ball Z Team Training with only Saiyans? The rules are simple. I can only use Saiyans in battle, and they must be at least half Saiyan. If I need a fighter for an HM, then I can use them, just not in battle. So without further ado, let's begin. The first thing I did was go to Dr. Priest's lab to get my first fighter. I had three choices, Goku, Vegeta, and Gohan. I chose Vegeta and challenged my rival to a battle, but the Prince of All Saiyans was more than a match for his half-breed fighter. After the battle, I retrieved Brief's parcel and returned to him. Now the journey can truly begin. On the way to the first gym, I had to go through North Forest, which was no problem. I only had to battle one trainer that had a level 9 piccolo, but a gallant gun and a punch took him out. On Route 2, I got my first two fighters, Raditz and Turles. And after a training arc, I was ready for the gym. The first gym leader is Yajirobe, and he uses Saiyans like me. Yajirobe's Raditz kicked my Turles and Vegeta's ass, but Vegeta was able to take care of him. After Raditz, Yajirobe sent out Nappa, and I sent out my Raditz. Nappa kicked my ass back to training, I guess. After some quick training, I was able to beat Nappa with a few punches and a Gallic gun. On the way to Mount Moon, Vegeta transformed into a Super Saiyan. I got the fourth member of the team, Nappa. I'm a Pokemon now. After buying Chansu and putting him in the PC, I headed into Mount Moon. Inside Mount Moon, I got the fifth member of the team, the mighty Uzaru. Team Pilaf was in Mount Moon looking for a Dragon Ball, and after taking care of them, I got the three-star Dragon Ball. On to Namek Town. While I was walking around Namek Town, I encountered my rival. His cooler was a higher level, but lucky for me, my rats took him out. After that was Zarbon, so I switched in my Uzaru. Uzaru wasn't strong enough, so I switched in Super Saiyan Vegeta and took down Zarbon with a final flash and a punch. Vegeta wasn't looking too good, so I switched in Turles, but the Uzaru was too strong and took out Turles, Nappa, and Raditz. So I sacrificed my Uzaru to heal Vegeta, and Vegeta was able to take out the Uzaru with one mighty punch. All that was left was Super Saiyan Gohan, and with just three final flashes and a punch, Gohan went down. It was clear to me that I wasn't strong enough for the gym, so it was time for another training arc. After my training arc, I stopped by Leon's house and got the SS ticket. Now off to the gym leader, Murray. His first fighter was Ginyu. It took some work, but my Uzaru was able to take out Ginyu. Next up was Frieza, so I switched out Turles. Frieza nearly took Turles out, so I switched in Vegeta and used Big Bang Attack. Frieza managed to take out Vegeta, but not without taking some damage, so I sent in Raditz and finished him off. Two badges down, six to go. After my fight with Murray, I stopped by the SSN to get the HM cut. While on the ship, I encountered my rival before I could get cut. Nappa did some damage, but so did Cooler, so I switched in Uzaru to finish him off. Zarbon was up next. Zarbon went down with just two tail smashes. Gary was tired of my shit, so he sent in his own Uzaru. My Uzaru did some damage, but I had to switch out to Turtles, and Turtles was able to put down the Uzaru. All that was left was Super Saiyan Gohan. I sent in Raditz, which was a mistake because Gohan took him out in just two hits. So I sent in Vegeta and hit him with a big bang attack and a final flash and finished him off with a punch. After catching a bio man and teaching him cut, I used RR Cave to go back to Route 2 to catch another Turles. It's a surprise tool that will help us later. I then used the Moonstone I found to turn Turles into an Uzaru. I then traded that Uzaru with a girl in the underground path for a slug. And finally, I traded that slug for a Kid Gohan back on Route 2. And after training Gohan, I was ready for the gym. The gym leader was General Red. His first fighter was Cyborg 18. My Raditz did some damage, but took just as much, so I switched in my Uzaru. But General Red cheated and healed his fighter. So I had to switch again, this time for the big guns. Vegeta. Vegeta finished off Cyborg 18, so I gave Kid Gohan a turn. Gohan took out Cyborg 17 in just three energy punches. 
but Gohan wasn't looking good, so I switched in Vegeta to take care of Android 16. Vegeta did some damage, but I had to sacrifice some fighters to heal Uzaru to secure the victory. Three badges down, five to go. On the way to Rock Tunnel, I found the six-star Dragon Ball on Route 10. After barely making it out of Rock Tunnel, it was time for a filler arc. While I was getting ready to take on Kami's Tower, I found the 7-star Dragon Ball on Route 8. I caught King Vegeta, I decided to kick Nappa off the team. Him and Raditz just can't pull their weight anymore. Inside Kami's Tower was my rival, and he was looking for another fight. Uzaru took out Cooler, but took a lot of damage and I forgot to record. I switched in Kid Gohan and took out his Zarbon with a few energy punches, but Gohan took some damage. This fight might be close. Next up is Uzaru. So I switched in Super Saiyan Vegeta and took him out with a big bang attack. Gary sent out Android 13, who had a nice trucker hat, but was no match for Raditz. All that was left was Super Saiyan Gohan. Raditz wasn't able to do much damage to him, so it was all up to Vegeta. And with a big bang attack and a final flash, it was over. I found Mr. Popo in Kami's tower, but some invisible force was blocking my path, so I went to West City. In West City, I did some grinding and won future trunks at the game corner. But that means it's time to say goodbye to Raditz. And with a bit of training, future trunks transformed into a Super Saiyan. After catching a Team Gohan on Route 7, I was ready to take on Team Pilaf's base. While in Pilaf's base, Team Gohan became a Super Saiyan. After getting the lift key, I was ready to take on the boss of Team Pilaf. Pilaf led with Tambourine, and I led with my Uzaru. Believe it or not, Tambourine died quickly. Next up was Piccolo, so I sent in my Super Saiyan Future Trunks. Piccolo fired a special beam cannon and one-shot my Trunks. So I sent in my Kid Gohan, and took him out with a Energy Punch. Pilaf's last fighter was King Piccolo. But Kit Gohan took him out in two energy punches. After beating Pilaf, I went back to Kami's tower where I encountered Garlic. After beating Garlic, Kami thanked us and gave us an ocarina. Now there was one thing left to do, then the filler arc would be over. It's time to push Team Pilaf out of Capsule Corp. In Capsule Corp, I ran into my rival Gary. He wanted to battle and from the start I realized I was under leveled. Oh no! After having my ass handed to me, I did some training. While I was training, Vegeta transformed into Majin Vegeta. After some training, I had a rematch with Gary. He led with Super Cooler, and I led with Team Gohan. Gohan did some damage with Energy Punch, but Cooler took him out with a Death Beam. So I switched in Uzaru. But Cooler just one-shot him, so I sent in Vegeta, hoping to outspeed him. Vegeta wasn't faster, but he was able to take out Cooler. Up next was Zarbon 2, so I sent in Future Trunks who was killed in two hits. Kid Gohan didn't do much better, so my only chance at winning was Vegeta. Zarbon went down to a final flash, and Gary sent out his Uzaru and took out my Vegeta. After some more strategic play, Kid Gohan killed the Uzaru, and out came Super Android 13. Vegeta was able to barely take out Android 13, and all that was left was Ultimate Gohan. During one of my many attempts at this fight, Team Gohan became a Super Saiyan 2. And after many failed attempts, I finally won by having Vegeta use Explosion. Now all that was left was the rematch with Pilaf. First up was Garlic, who went down to one energy punch, and the same goes for Tambourine. But Super Piccolo took two big bang attacks to go down, and King Piccolo went down to one energy punch, after beating Pilaf, I got the 5 star Dragon Ball, and with that, the filler arc was over. After beating Team Pilaf, I used the time machine on the second floor of Capsule Corp to turn Kid Gohan into a future Gohan. Now I was ready for the gym. The fourth gym leader was Bulma. Bulma led with Imperfect Cell, and I led with Future Trunks. Future Trunks took out Cell with 3 Finish Busters, but took a lot of damage, so I switched in Super Saiyan to Gohan. And Bulma sent out Imperfect Cell. Gohan killed Cell with just two Kamehamehas. And up next was Bulma's last fighter, a Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. So I sent out my Uzaru, which did not go as planned. So I sent in Vegeta next. And Vegeta took him out with one big bang attack. Four badges down, four to go. After defeating Bulma, I used some tea to go to Satan City and was ready for the fifth gym. While I was in the fifth gym, Future Gohan became a Super Saiyan. 
and the fifth gym leader was Mr. Satan. He led with Super Saiyan Gotenks, and I led with Future Trunks, but switched in Vegeta. Vegeta took out Goten with a Big Bang attack and a punch, but I forgot to record it, and I'm not doing Bulma's gym again for three seconds of footage. Up next was Super Saiyan Trunks, so I sent in my Uzaru. Uzaru did some damage with Crush, but took a lot, so I switched in Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, and then Mr. Satan cheated and healed Trunks. But Gohan took Trunks out with just one energy punch. Next came Fat Boo. And again, Gohan took him out in one energy punch. All that was left was Boo Tanks. Who took two energy punches to go down. Five badges down, three to go. 